Good morning, ESM, and welcome to Spartan News. Today is June 7th, and we have a very short show today. So with that, we'll take it to news. For news this morning, masks are still required at all Central New York school districts for the time being. A letter was sent from the state health commissioner to the director of the CDC saying that the state planned to change its rules regarding masks in school. The letter stated that if students were fully vaccinated, they didn't have to wear a mask, and if they were not vaccinated, they were encouraged but not required to wear a face covering. Schools were allowed to keep their current mask mandates, and that's what most superintendents decided to do. There has been no official legal change in the mask mandate from the New York State Education Department or Governor Andrew Cuomo, said West Genesee Superintendent David Bills. Other schools, such as FM, JD, and ESM, also have decided to keep their mask rules. In other news, more than 465 people have been arrested across nearly all 50 states in connection to the attack in the U.S. Capitol on January 6th. A fact sheet released by the Department of Justice last Friday illustrates what officials have described as likely the largest crime investigation in history. The department says it's still speaking, seeking tips to identify more than 250 people involved in acts of such violence. So far, more than 200,000 digital media tips have been provided to the FBI to assist in investigations. In southern Pakistan, two express trains collided with each other on Monday, killing 38 passengers. Rescuers and villagers were able to pull injured people and bodies out of the wreck. The pre-dawn collision took place in the district of Ghadi. Train accidents are common in Pakistan where the government has paid little attention to improving the poorly maintained signal systems in the aging tracks. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice. On Tuesday, June 8th, there will be a sign-up and informational meeting for anyone in grades 9 through 11 looking to play JV or varsity football. The June 8th meeting will be after school in the large cafeteria. See Coach Eschbacher in B23 if you have any questions. Juniors, Wednesday is the last day to pre-submit song requests for prom. You can do so by going to tjdj5.webnode.com or visit tjdj's Instagram at tjdj.syracuse, or S-Y-R, and click the link in the bio. And let's take it to weather. Today, on Monday, we will have a high of 92 and a low of 71 degrees, making today very warm. Today will be hot and muggy with a chance of some afternoon storms or showers. Tonight will be warm and likely have some more showers. And as you can see behind me, well, well the storms will most likely be approaching from the east, so watch out for that. Tuesday, we'll have a high of 88 and a low of 70 degrees. Tuesday, we'll also have some scattered showers or storms in the morning and afternoon. Wednesday, we'll have a high of 90 and a low of 67 degrees. And Wednesday, we'll continue the train of having some storms and showers. And with that, I'm Grayson with your weather. Friday, the baseball team lost to Fulton 9-8 in their last game of the season. They finished their season with a record of 2-15. The softball team lost to JD on Friday 20-5 in their last game of their regular season. They finished with a regular season record of 9-6. The boys across team finished their season with a win 13-12 uh, against CNS. And a big congratulations to Zach Schufelt, who was named New York State All-State third team for soccer. Round two of the NBA playoffs began on Saturday. In game one, the Brooklyn Nets defeated the Milwaukee Bucks, despite James Harden leaving the game with a hamstring injury in the first minute. The Atlanta Hawks upset the top-seeded Philadelphia 76ers, 128-124, thanks to 35 points from Trey Young. And I'm John, with your sports. Well, everybody, thank you today for tuning in, and 
from everybody here at the morning show or Spartan News. We hope that you have a great Monday and a great rest of your week.